Good evening, people. Lewin, good evening. Good evening, Carla. Hey, long good time no see. Teacher. Long time no see. What, what happened to you? Very nice, very nice, teacher. Okay. Good night. Okay, Edwin. Actually, we, we missed you. Okay, okay. Thank good night, you. teacher. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Aquí reportándome también las disculpas que no me he podido conectar debido a problemas asuntos familiares. Okay, Carla, but I hope everything's all right. Sí, pero trataré de ponerme al día con las tareas también. Okay. Okay, okay that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Uh, well, we, well, actually, only I have only two participants. Ah, but we are still missing a couple of minutes. Okay, so let us make some time for the rest of the people. Okay. Okay, let us, let us wait a little bit, like a couple of minutes. Okay, two or three minutes will be all right. Okay. Okay. Okay, hello, Carlos, Carlos Jose, welcome. Hello, Carlos, are you there? Okay. I also have Julio Cesar. Hello, Julio Cesar, welcome. Welcome, Carlos Jose. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I also have, no, let me see. Well, I have Julio, Edwin, Carla, and also I have Carlos. Okay, do me a favor to activate your camera, please. Hey, okay, remember, it's very important. Hello, ladies. Ladies got into the class now. I have also Jennifer. Hello, Thank you. teacher. Good evening. 
Good evening, ladies. So do the favor to activate camera. I also have, well, I, I think, uh, well, the majority, I, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now it's 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 getting better, right? It's getting better because uh, uh, what I'm looking for is to have all of my students in the class so that everybody can learn as much as possible. Well, um, let me see. What's new, Carla? <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, más o menos, more or less. <laughs> okay. Como, con tratamientos a mi papá. Oh. Entonces, ahí andamos en varias diligencias. Más okay. el trabajo y todas esas cosas. Entonces, yeah, I know. I know. Pero ahí andamos bien. Okay, <laughs> good to know. De... Good to know, Carla. Okay, uh, well, let's see. We're gonna start with by by having an audio. Okay, so I have I have looked for an audio over Dice here. Mi, mi tarea de my daily routine de my friend. I just did it. Yes. Uh, do you want to share it now, Carla? Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. <laughs> Well, my friend is Maria Cela Urbina. We are friends science school. Now she is a doctor with a uh, especially in pneumology. She is married and have two two children. She wakes wakes up every weekday at 5 a.m. with the help of her employee. She prepares the lunch box for a daughter and he and her husband takes to take to school. Maria Cela has breakfast at 7 70, 7 30 and prepare to go to the to your clinic. Uh, your work is located in Colonia Médica, San Salvador. She re received pa pa ¿cómo se dice paciente? Patients. 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 According to her special speciality, times 9 a.m. Together with her receptionist, prepare the patient. patient database she comes she comes home at 5 p.m and take care of her children she helps prepare diner with her employees she diner with her children and awaits the arri arrival for her of her husband home her husband help her daughter uh, with the homework and Maria Cela take care of the children of the little one to prepare him for bed. Maria Cela goes to rest at 10 p.m. Is all awesome, <laughs> awesome, pretty good. Um, that, that was really nice, okay. So, but when you say, um, she prepares or she gets ready she to go to your to your clinic. So it's my clinic or hair clinic? Hair clinic. Okay. So hair. Yeah, because I, clinic. I was just thinking, hey, but I don't yeah. have any clinic. I don't have any clinic. Sí. So what, what is she what is she doing? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hair clinic. Hair clinic. Fantastic. Edwin. Yeah. What about you? Yes, teacher. You, do you have something new? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Let us know about it. I think about my best friend. He is my best friend, he is my wife. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Her routine is to get to get up at uh, four and and five. I am the take a shower and brush the brush her teeth. She change her hair and put on her makeup. Can she go to the bus stop? 
that take her to her company uh, when she arrived, she prepares a coffee and, and joe and chicken sandwich. Then she waits for her arrival time, time to start her daily chores. Chore uh, then the, the audit process begins, which is what she does within the company. After uh, a, a will, he he has a, a snack. After this, he return to his chores and begin the audited process, process again at 6 o'clock in the uh, MPM is uh is time to leave leaving the world again I come no I I pardon again I I know how to to board the take the bus will return at home only that well, Edwin, what can I say about, about your presentation? That's fantastic. Hey, congratulations, because your best friend is your wife. Okay, thank you, teacher. Congratulations. I, I'm really happy to, to hear that from, from, from a man, okay? A real man thinks the way you think. Okay, un verdadero hombre piensa así como usted piensa. Esa es mi okay, manera thanks. de pensar, okay? Uh, let me see. Well... I have Jennifer, Carlos, ladies, Julio. Well, I think you 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 were in the class yesterday, and we were sharing a lot of information, right? So now, uh, well, we're gonna go over the the activity I have looked for. Just give me a second, because I need to get it over here. Yeah, it's over here. Well, I I looked for for an activity in in. That's right. In Google, so you will listen to the people over here, okay? Now, what do you think? Listen in practice, interview with a with a swimmer, right? So this is this is what we're gonna uh, go over it tonight. Well, you we're gonna check our understanding by choosing true or false, okay? Do this exercise. What you listen, circle, true or false? And well, I will share the link so that uh, you can you can have it with you in the chat, okay? And you can solve it with me. Okay, there you are. There you are, people. You have it in the chat. Let me know, let me know when you get it, please. Do you get it? Now the person the person's gonna, I mean, we're gonna have a conversation. No me da el link. No. Ah, really? No, no hay fondos, me dice en la página. Ah, really? Quizás me la, me la inventé. <laughs> yeah. I check that one, please. I think it was my mistake. Yeah, este sí. Ah, yeah, now it's better, right? <laughs> well. <laughs> Hacía eh, falta un punto. <laughs> yeah. Dan gets up early. He will tell me if it is true or if it is false. He has a small breakfast. He's a student that has lunch at home. He goes swimming after class. Uh, that watches TV and goes on the internet before bed. And then you are going to check your understanding by choosing our or doing the following exercise in which you are going to fill the blanks or you're going to fill the gaps with the activity from the box to complete dance diary. All right. So as you can see, there are different hours at 5 a.m., at 6 a.m., at 8 a.m., at 11, etc. Right. So we're going to listen to it. Give me one second because I think I didn't activate the audio. I will do it now. Okay. Now, yes. Okay, it will be very simple, but uh, it's going to help us to get familiarized with the topic we have uh, um, we have started in previous days. Okay, 
this is i think his name is dan right dan it may be like daniel or something like that but his name is dan okay uh here we go hello dan hi can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower. I get dressed and have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 7 o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English teens. All right. So I think it was enough, right? So the conversation was quite good. And, but we need to choose, right? So Dan gets up early, true or false, people? Then gets up early. Do you want to listen to it a second time? It's true. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so we're going to listen to it a second time as soon as possible. And then automatically you will tell me that's true, teacher. That's false. That's false. And then we're going to go yes. over this exercise as soon as possible. Okay, here we go. Hello, Dan. Hi. Can you tell me about a typical day in your life for the school magazine? Yeah, sure. So, what time do you get up? Oh, I get up very early. I get up every day at five o'clock and go to the pool. Then I swim from six o'clock to eight o'clock. You get up at five o'clock? Wow, that's early. Yeah. Then at eight o'clock, I have a shower. I get dressed and have breakfast. I have a big breakfast. Cereals, toast, bacon and eggs and orange juice. What do you do after breakfast? At 11 o'clock I go to university. I'm studying sports science and I have classes from 11 o'clock to 4 o'clock. When do you have lunch? I have lunch at about 2 o'clock at the university. What do you do after classes? Sometimes I go to the gym and sometimes I meet my friends at a cafe. What time do you have dinner? I have dinner at 7 o'clock. Then I watch TV or go online and I usually go to bed at 10 o'clock. Thanks, Dan. That's a busy day. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To okay, so now yes, right? Now, Dan gets up early. True or false? True. 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 He has a small breakfast. Uh, True. False. True or false? True. Is it true? Uh, true? He's a student. He's a student. True. Say true. true. Dan has lunch at home. True. He goes no. swimming false. after class. False. Is this true or false? False. False. 
he goes swimming after classes. Oh. Dan watches TV and goes on the internet before bed. True. 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 Okay, we're gonna check it later. Now, let's try to um, get the, the message about his daily routine. What, what does he do at 5 a.m., people? Get up. Uh, he get he, up. No, but tell, he, tell me the, 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 the complete set. He gets up. Gets. Remember, up. We're, ah, okay. we're, yeah, 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 yeah. remember about Simple what we have been Simple. studying, right? Third person yeah, singular. Yeah, yeah. He gets up. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, at 6 a.m.? Have, have a breakfast. He have or he has? He has he breakfast. He has breakfast. He has breakfast, right? He has breakfast. What about at 8 a.m.? He go to university. He go or he goes to university? Goes. goes. Okay, at 11? Have a lunch. He have I lunch have or he lunch. has lunch? Has lunch. Uh, he has he ha, lunch. He has ha lunch. He has ha lunch. Ha lunch. 11. Yeah, 11, he has lunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he Escuché has lunch. No, at 11. At, what about 2 p.m.? Go to the gym. The, he, the, no. Uh, he go to the gym? No, 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 no. No, no he, he's a witness. Meet, meet the friend. He meets friends. Meets friends. And at 5 p.m.? Go to swimming. Go. He goes, he goes swimming. swimming. So he never, he didn't mention anything about dinner. Ah, it's 7 p.m. 7. Yeah, 7 p.m. He has he? dinner. He has dinner. He has dinner. He has dinner. Okay, yeah, he has dinner. Hey, tell me the first, first sentence, please. Tell me the first sentence. What does he do at 5 a.m.? He has he, he no I mean he has, what happens no tell me the tell me the sentence five a.m. what does he do get up yeah but tell me third person singular the, the, the activity he, or he, he gets he gets, he gets up, up. He, he gets up no he, he is not up. he he get up yeah. uh -huh. he gets up he gets up he gets he, up he gets. what about at six a.m. people he he has breakfast. He has he breakfast. Has break. What about at 8 a.m., people? He goes to the gym. He goes to, the to university. university. Good. He goes to the university. What about at 11? He has, he has lunch. lunch. Uh, no, ha, uh, uh, third person is he has lunch. He has lunch. What about at 2 p.m.? He meets, he meets he friends. Meet friends. Uh, now it's better, right? What about at 5 p.m.? He goes, he goes swimming. swimming. He goes swimming. What about at 7 p.m.? He has, he has a dinner. He has he, dinner. Okay. Oh, here dinner. Is, he has dinner. He has dinner. He has dinner. All right. So, well, uh, you know, yesterday we were practicing about this. Today we will continue practicing about this story. Well, we're going to send it or we're going to check it. You can... You can check it later, right? I think the answers are going to be given to you later. Okay, so we can set it. And we are going to start with something. And I hope this activity was a kind of meaningful. Well, over here, we're going to check what we started yesterday. Okay. I don't know if there is someone who finished this activity. ¿Alguien terminó este ejercicio? Sí. Okay. Oh. Yo no lo he podido hacer mañana, se lo puedo entregar. Yeah, please. Please, please, please. Don't forget about it. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's... Now, Sara, to be. What is the present form of the verb be, people? Let us is. work. Okay, Sara is. Sara is 26 years old, is. and she... Is. She is... Is. Tall. And thing. She... Have. 
has. Uh, okay, she has a blonde hair and green eyes. She works. Works. She works as a waitress in a restaurant, but she wants. Wants, okay, wants to become a teacher of French in England. Mm. She studies. Studies. She studies. She studies hard every day. Sarah she is. Is what? Is married to. Married. 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 Is married to, to Tom. He is. is. He is. 20, 28 years old, lawyer, lawyer with vision for traveling abroad. Together, they have, have, have. Now, yes, right, have, because they, they have two children, they have. twins, Maya and Ben, and a cat and a dog. They live, live. no, live. They, they live, live. they live, they live in, in Yasi, Romania. Yeah, yeah. They have they have. have they have, they have a small house with two bedrooms one living room two one bathrooms room, one kitchen in a garage they plan they plan it's the same right they plan to move to england next year tom received a little chapter he received a very chapter all right now, second part. In a day today, like Sarah what time gets up. You have dinner? Sarah gets up at half past six in the morning. She just stretch stretches. Stretches. Yeah. She stretches, give me one second. Okay. She stretches uh, and she goes, 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 she goes to the bathroom. She washes, 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 yeah, washes her face to do what? Br brush it. Uh, to brush, uh, yeah, brush like, uh, her. her face. Brush. Hey, give me a second. She washes. Her face. Okay. Uh, brushes. Maybe it's because it says comma, right? Brushes yeah, her brushes. teeth yeah. and that do. Uh, that, but it's it, it it ends on oh, what happened yeah. to this kind of verbs? It's do. like go, go, goes, do goes. No, Dude. but this is do, does, does, all right. And does no. her hair. Then she Get, gets, gets dressed. Gets, gets dressed. For work, she likes, likes, likes. Uh, she likes to wear pretty clothes. What uh, she, yeah, she usually wears. She wears wears. She usually wears we a are, blue or yeah, it's wear wear wears a blue or pink dress, a white blouse with jeans or uh, white shirts, with black pants. Meanwhile, Tom wakes up. Wakes up. Wakes up. The twins and help, 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 helps, helps, and helps them to get ready. Yeah, let, let me see. Tom wakes up the twins and helps them. Yeah, to get ready for school after she mm -hmm. finishes. 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 finishes, 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 Sarah. Goes. 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 Into the kitchen and prepares. Prepares. Prepares breakfast. Prepares. Prepares. Sometimes when she. She is. 
in a is hungry. in a hurry. In a hurry, she gives. She gives. She gives what the the milk and cereals, but usually she makes makes, makes them sandwiches with cheese, cold meat, salami, ham, and salad, cucumber, tomatoes, and she always lives lives leaves them something sweet on the table, like a cookie or a piece of homemade cake. They all. Eat. 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 Are you sure? They all eat. They all eat together and then everyone go. Then go. Every guy goes. Then everyone goes to their way to school or to work. Around four o'clock, they uh, arrive. Arrive. Home. The children play. No, no, no. Children is plural. Playing. Plural. The children play. Playing. That's it. The children Play. played around okay. while mom playing. Clean. No, but it says why mom. Is she? Yeah, is she, it's, a lady, it's a person, right? Okay. Entonces cleans. Why she cleans? She cleans. Okay. She cleans, does, 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 does the laundry, does the laundry or vacuum, a vacuum, vacuums, vacuum, vacuums around the house while that prepares, he prepares a delicious dinner for all four of them from time to time they go, go. they go uh, barbecuing outside but usually they have they have uh, their meals inside tom loves loves to cook soups or a meat with delicious vegetables he Try he tries Trying. he tries he tries new recipes every week sarah does. does sarah does the best sweets in the world <laughs> her specialty is her specialty is carrot cake with uh, walnut walnuts i'm sorry they complete complete they complete each order. They, they are, are uh, no, yes, are. right. They are a, a happy family. After dinner, the twins go 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 to over here was two, right? Go to their ah no, no. goes to do. All right, so that goes. Oh, my goodness. Goes to do, yeah. Goes yeah. to do their homework. And sometimes they and sometimes they ask. ask. They ask. They ask what? For help from their parents. When they finish. When they finish. The homework. Si sí, en algunos lleva lleva y en otros no. Play. Yeah, it, it's because well, if you see if you see yesterday's class, eh, cuando vea la, la 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 clase de ayer se va a dar cuenta que cuando es tercera persona esto es para los que no no lograron ingresar ayer. Eh, tercera persona le vamos a llamar he she it. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí hay este, ciertas reglas que hay que poner en práctica. Siempre va a tener ah, un cambio. Ok. okay? Por eso es que en algunos cambia. Por ejemplo, aquí <ríe> en este no cambió. Miren. Uh -huh. They. Porque they finish. 
Pero si ustedes se fijan en, en este, por ejemplo, sí. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos a Sara. Sara, tercera persona. She. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. solamente en esos casos. Eso yeah. He, she, it. He, she, it. Uh -huh. Now, for example, we have Maya. Plays. 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 Maya plays with her dolls. Or... Right. 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 Very good. Or write in her journal. Ben usually. Really. Right. Rides. Rides mm -hmm. his bike outside. Or. Walk. Walks. Walks. Or walks his dog at a quarter past ten. Everyone. Ready. Everyone? Yeah. Get, 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 get ready. Gets ready. Uh, gets ready for bed. They. Está hablando de Maya todavía, ¿verdad? No, uh, so, so here. Uh, I, I know why you are asking. No, de, de, de Ben, de Ben, yeah. ¿verdad? No, when you use everyone, cuando dice. Eh, esto, pues lo pueden ver como todos o cada uno de ellos. Ok, entonces. Uh -huh. Si eh, esto lo traducimos como es cada como uno day. de ellos, eso. De alguna manera funciona como tercera persona. Uh -huh. Everyone, everyone, everybody. Ok. So, for example, eh, si decimos familia, ok, sabemos que familia son varias personas, pero eh, se conjuga como tercera persona, porque hablamos, ya hablamos del grupo, el grupo familiar, no hablamos de, de todos ellos como. Um, o sea, lo vemos como un, como un equipo. Un grupo. Como un grupo. Ok, por eso lo usamos como tercera persona. Family, third person. Everyone, third person. Everybody, third person. Singular. Ok, but over here, they... Take. They take. Uh, shower. Showers. Brush. And they brush. brush. And they brush their teeth. Sarah. Chishish. Kisses, kisses, kisses her children. Good night. And Tom talks, 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 talks them in the little beds. Sometimes they read, read, they read them a bedtime story, which Now, which, la cual, which? Con, hablando de alguien, va. No, but, but this which refers to the story. Sometimes. Yeah, which refers to story. Con. Now, ¿qué, ¿Qué es? Es una historia, es algo, ¿cuál es el pronombre para story? It. It, okay, so. No. Which. Entonces, es puts. Exactly, exactly. Which puts them to sleep night away. Good night and sleep. Sleep. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs point. Okay, now, well, well, and you continue by doing this, okay? This is like, like more, more info over here. Now, well, um, something that I want you to do. I don't know if you could uh, solve this. ¿Pudieron resolver este, este, este ejercicio? ¿O tuvieron el tiempo necesario? No, yo realmente no lo hice. Ok, eso lo vamos a dejar pendiente, ok? Porque hay okay. que avanzar con algunas otras actividades. Pero lo más fuerte, que estaba lleno de muchos verbos en tercera, primera persona, que es lo que... Era eso lo que acabamos de hacer. Esto, sí, claro, es lo que hemos estado practicando y pues eh, a modo de que no se nos olvide nunca, o sea, todo lo que aprendamos acá siempre hay que mantenerlo como, hey, esto es algo que me va a servir de por vida, o sea, claro. aquí hasta, hasta cuando pues ya no volvamos a abrir los ojos, o sea, hasta ahí. A lo mejor y allá en el cielo también hablan inglés, entonces quizás allá, allá también nos va a tocar usar el idioma, ¿ok? Ok, now let's see. 
Um, teacher, teacher, yo quise enviar a hacerle la, la, lo que acabamos de hacer, el ejercicio, pero no me permitió enviarlo. No. Como ahí pide un correo. ¿Por qué no lo comparte el grupo de WhatsApp? Eh, no, pero no este ahorita que acaba de resolver, sino el que dimos el, de la, el del diálogo. ¿El del libro? El del diálogo que mandó ahí en eh, por link. Ah, ok. No, but don't worry. No, no, no se preocupen que así como lo hicimos, así pues, eh, eh, así iba el ejercicio. Ah, ok. okay so don't worry. Now let me see. Well, this is what we have been studying, people. ¿Se acuerdan cómo hacer preguntas en inglés? Con tercera persona. ¿Por qué no remarca tanto esto de la tercera persona del libro? Miren, ¿por qué? ¿Por qué será? Es para que ustedes se vayan eh, familiarizando que con tercera persona siempre va a haber algo ahí, en todos los tiempos. Ahorita solo estamos con presente siempre. Ok, teacher, ¿cuántos tiempos o cuántos, cuántas otras estructuras gramaticales faltan? Pues faltan un resto. Y apenas estamos con presente simple. Pero lo que nos quiere, le voy a descifrar un poco el secreto de esto que nos, que nos está este, como llevando a, a comprender que con tercera persona siempre va a haber un cambio y algo, algo que vamos a tener que enfocarnos siempre en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Now, uh, well, uh, the last time we created these questions, right? Lo vamos a hacer así rapidito, este ejercicio, ya lo hicimos una vez. Ahora solo lo vamos a hacer de manera oral, ¿ok? ¿Alguien que me ayude con la pregunta para esta oración? Ya nos dan la respuesta, solo queremos la pregunta, ¿ok? Does he flexes the AC on Friday? Ok, give me one second, because I will type it. Lo tengo que digitar. Porque estoy viendo algo por ahí. Dice, does he, he fixes... Uh, does he fix the, the AC? The, the AC on the Friday. AC, AC. Oops. Does he fix now? On Friday? No, a fix. A fix. No, fix. Yeah. Tiene que quitarle la S. Vaya. Es justamente por eso que, que lo, lo, lo digité, para que veamos y que siempre nos recordemos que cuando tenemos esto... O sea, sí, el esto, verbo cambia. El verbo ya se mantiene en su forma base. O sea, que no, que, uh -huh. no, no necesitamos conjugarlo en tercera persona. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿qué? ¿Does it fix the AC on Friday? Okay. Fix the AC on Friday? Ya. Yeah. Yes, he does. Don't forget it, right? But ahora sí, vamos a seguir de manera eh, oral. Uh, second, please. Si yo veo que necesitamos un feedback, entonces lo dijito. Number two, yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Does she, does she send? She send. She send. She send. She send. I, I can listen to some people saying like, does she? Do you see send people? Send. No. Send. Uh, no, send. Does she send, send many emails uh -huh. to customers? Okay, that's fair. Yes. Number three. Number three. No, she doesn't. She cleans uh, the first floor only. Does she clean? Does she clean? The second yes. floor. Does she clean yes. the second floor? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first uh, floor only. Number four. She does. Yes, she, yes, she does. Eddie keeps track on the cells. Does Eric keep track? Does Eric keep Does Eric keep track on the cells? Good. Okay, so eso es lo que estuvimos viendo la eh, en la última sesión, en las últimas dos sesiones. Si se fijan, hemos estado trabajando con presente simple en, si mal no recuerdo, tres sesiones, tres en la tres sesiones. Pero ahora vamos con la otra tarea. Se recuerdan del álbum que ustedes crearon hoy es cuando nos van a presentar por lo menos de lo que investigaron por lo menos 
Dijimos que eran como alrededor de 40 profesiones, ocupaciones, ¿verdad? Y que iban a investigar qué es lo que ellos uh, hacen. Entonces, ahorita vamos con eso. ¿Qué vamos a lograr con eso? Miren, vamos a lograr vocabulario. Vamos a lograr uh, practicar tercera persona. Vamos a encontrar pronunciación, porque no solo... O sea, yo sé cómo se escribe esto, pero a lo mejor no sé cómo se pronuncia. Entonces, cuando hacemos ese tipo de actividad, ganamos demasiado. Siempre y cuando hagamos nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Sí. Ok, so I will stop sharing. Voy a dejar sí. de, de compartir. Y nos vamos a la parte que les corresponde. Ok, que es producir inglés. Vaya, para esto, ya, ya dijimos, ¿verdad? Por lo menos cinco, cinco nuevas profesiones. Uh, I will start with Carla. Ok, Carla, when you finish, cuando Carla termine su presentación, ella va a decir quién continúa. Lo vamos a hacer un poquito dedocráticamente, ¿ok? Ahorita tengo que mencionar cinco. Exacto. Yes. Y para saber las que, que no se han repetido. Absolutely. <laughs> Let us try to keep it in mind. Ok. Where I have a baby, sis, baby sister. Eh, the one, the one that is, she's generally used in a house to take a care of a children. Okay, uh, could you please type the, the, the occupation in the chat? Voy en digital, by lo que vayan presentando, vayan digitando eh, la ocupación o la profesión. Okay, Henry. Okay, Henry, it's all right. I got it. Okay, Carla. The first one you said is a babysitter. Babysitter. Okay, please. Babysitter. Type it. Todo vayan, vayan. Vayan viendo en el chat, si quieren lo copian, lo pegan en un documento Word, a modo que verificar que si ustedes no tienen esa profesión, que la incluyan. Otra. Tengo que decir otra. Ya, yeah, actually, you are in church presenting five. Son ah, cinco okay. para cada participante. A baker. ¿sí? A baker. Ok, baker. Panadero. He makes and sells bread, bread and cakes. All right. Type it in the chat, please. Digítenlo en el chat, porfa. Las dos que, las dos que, vaya, que ha dicho hasta el momento. Las cinco, de hecho, tienen que estar en el chat. ¿Quién la va, quién la va a digitar? ¿Ella o nosotros? Si ustedes vayan verificando, Carlos, si ustedes no tienen una de esas, de esas ocupaciones o profesiones, incluyanlas en su, en su álbum y luego las okay. buscan, sí, por supuesto. Pero en el chat la va a escribir ella o nosotros, Ticha. Ajá, no, no sé. Eh, ella, lo, ella la va a escribir en el chat, ella. No, okay. Ah, yo, yo. Okay. Y los demás nada más recogen aquellas que no, no tienen. Si las tienen las cinco, pues hacen pregunta, caso. Sí. Hacen Bye, caso sí. omiso. Thanks. Ahorita va a escribirla. Uh, Baker. And now I say, um, Biologist, biologist, eh, is that he is, no, he studies living beings and their relationship with each other and with their surrounding. He, who is that? Lo, un biólogo. Ok, you have a babysitter. 
Baker. Mm. Yeah, bus business manager. He's a direct the director of a organization or a part of it. Okay, you included a biologist, right? Yes. Yeah, biologist. Yeah, you have babysitter, baby biologist. Okay. Falta una and is a uh, uh, um, electrician electrician no sé si se dice así <laughs> install main maintenance and repair electrical service and apply, appliance appliance Okay. That's the last one, right? Babysitter, baker, biologist, and business manager. Electrician is the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Maintains and repairs electrical services and appliances. Now you see a lot of info, right? Tenemos más vocabulario. De una palabra salen más palabras. Miren, the electrician pueden salir otras. The biologists, we have, let's see. The children, baker, spread. All right. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. That was, that was fantastic. Okay. Now, can you mention somebody else? <laughs> Carla, I'm sorry to interrupt your, uh, that good moment you're having at home. <laughs> Could you please mention the next participant, Carla? Um, ladies. Okay, ladies, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Air tracing. El quiero. Eh, treatment en higiene of air. En dieron para llevar ahorita. Master all the air dressing specialties that are performed in a salon. Cooking, stealing, perms, bleach chains, digging, and placement of air pieces. Housewife, ama de casa, clean the house, okay, wash okay, clothes. Okay, ladies, I'm, okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do me the favor to include the information in the chat. Okay. Okay. Copy, paste. Copy, yeah, that's right. Copy the information and paste it in the chat. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. 
First occupation. And the second is okay, hairdresser. Housewife. And clean the house. Wash clothes. Cook. Do the shopping. And if they have children. Take care of them and help them study. Among many other tasks. Okay, how's the occupation is owner? A owner is a person who owns animals for trade, but also for sporting purposes. Next is Jay Wheeler. No sé cómo se pronuncia Joyer. Usually self employed Hewlers are dedicated to the production of all high. Jewelry, pieces, and parts of the medium price ones, so then, so that their sale admit and high labor cost, which in any case is generally a small percentage of the price final amount. Okay, the precision for your, I mean, for your is jewel. Jewel. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, now we know about your, we have a, a housewife. She also presented information about a dresser and a hunter, right? Okay. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh, you're, you're still missing two. Two more, right, uh, ladies? One more. Okay, Five. one more. Okay. Journalist. Periodista. They conduct inter research and analyze news, write articles and columns, and take photographs. They also attend press conference and news gathering. Events. Your nailings are responsible for delivering a current and up to date news 
keeping their audiences informed and fact checking. That's all, teacher. Fantastic, ladies. Hey, ladies, I can notice that you are just looking for the right pronunciation of the words. Veo que ha estado practicando pronunciación. Se le oye muy bonito ya. Ladies. Thank you, teacher. La verdad que uno pues, puede notar esos pequeños detalles en sus estudiantes. Uh, okay, ladies, uh, who follows? Um... Esperanza Calles. Ok, Esperanza. ¿Es Esperanza no. en el club? Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Ya, yeah, ok, Esperanza. Ya, yeah. yeah, este, primero sería eh, Waitress, eh, a, a woman whose job is to serve customer are day tables in a restaurant. Okay, that's a waitress, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Don't forget to include the occupation in the chat, please. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, writers, uh, writers, uh, uh, a person, who writes books, stories, or articles as a job of regular occupation. Okay, that's a writer. Veterinarians, a person, a person qualified qualify to treat diseases or injure animals. A writer, a veterinarian. Uh, la, la, lawyer, a person who practice or studies laws, um, attorney or a consular. 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 A, 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 a lo, lawyer, okay? It's a lawyer. La, lawyer. Uh, yeah. Chef, a professional cook, typically the chef cook in a restaurant or hotel. Okay, a cook, someone who works at a restaurant or in a hotel. In a hotel. Cinco. Ay. Falta uno. Dos. Tres. Así. Eh, bus, bus driver. Eh, is someone... Eh, Someone who was Joe is to drive a bus.
cashier, a person handling payment and receipt, receipt, no, receipt in a store, bank, or other business. Oh, okay, so that's the last one, right? Ah, you, in last you included a writer, a veterinarian, a lawyer, a chef, and a best driver, right? And the last one is about a cashier. It's a person yeah. handling payments and receipts in a store, bank, or other business. Good. Quite yeah. good, uh, Esperanza. Excellent info. Okay, we're gonna make a post. We're gonna make a post because we have heard a lot about uh, albums. Okay, but um, after after going to the next um, activity, I wanna know if there is a participant or a volunteer who wanna share uh, his or her album. Un participante que nos quiera comentar las últimas cinco ocupaciones. Ok, voluntario, para luego ir a la otra actividad. Ready, teacher. Ok, Edwin, go ahead. After Edwin, después de la participación de Edwin, vamos con otra actividad, ok, a una actividad en pareja, una conversación que vamos a crear, ok. Ok. Uh, the one is the former uh, finding uh, waiting warding her or animals herding milking castrating branding big uh, trimming weighing catching and carrying animal the second fish fisherman a fisherman is person who lives of the catch of fish or other aquatic animal. Sign the cats enjoy to eat and sell the surplus. The three, the number three, miner. Meaning is an activity with, with which we identify place where the where there are minerals to remove them from their their and process then to boiling almost everything we see around around us number four the teacher direct a realization of systematic tension Learning and process. Number five, student. Complete with the school, a school, a school, and calendar. Attend class. Put quality and practice and collaboration in a an a chiwing and other two climate or study and co-system at, at the center only. Okay, enough, right? Thank you, Edwin. Great info, great job. Well, people, let, let us go over the activity that you are gonna prepare simultaneously. Vamos a trabajar de manera simultánea con um, Recursos. Ver, si ustedes se van acá a la página 28, ok, ustedes van a encontrar que acá se nos pide my daily routines, mis actividades diarias y las actividades diarias de mi compañero. Eh, van a crear una conversación, ok. Y en esa conversación, al mismo tiempo, van a ir completando estos cuadros. Ok. Y ya luego, cuando ustedes presenten la conversación, 
todos los que no estamos involucrados en la misma, les vamos a hacer preguntas. Vamos a crear preguntas para los, para los que han creado la conversación. Por ejemplo, si Edwin uh, nos habla de, de Carla, por ejemplo, entonces nos dice que ella va al trabajo todos los días, se levanta a las uh, seis de la mañana, etc. Entonces nosotros podemos preguntar algo que Edwin no ha dicho. ¿Ok? Eh, por ejemplo, does she, ¿Does she work on Sundays? ¿Trabaja los domingos? ¿Does she work on Sundays? Entonces, eh, Edwin va a contestar. Entonces, Edwin le puede preguntar. Si él no sabe, le va a preguntar a Carla. Carla, ¿do you work on Sundays? Entonces, Carla le va a decir, no, I don't. I go to church. No, yo voy a la iglesia. Entonces, <ríe> entonces ella va a contestar no. Entonces, ya, ya eh, Edwin ya va a saber qué contestar con esa pregunta. Eh, ¿Cuál vamos o qué vamos a tomar como base para crear nuestra conversación? Bueno, el ejercicio que tenía, ya, ¿ya tienen esta página, la 28. Sí. Yes. Ya la tienen identificada, ya la buscaron. Vaya, vale. con eso vamos a trabajar. Y lo otro, con lo que vamos a trabajar es con el enlace que yo compartí de esta persona, de Dan. ¿Ok? Si ustedes lo escuchan, pues él ahí menciona varias cosas que él hace durante la semana. Se levanta a las 5, toma su desayuno a las 6, va a la universidad a las 8, a las 11 almuerza, a las 2 eh, se reúne con sus amigos, a las 5 va a nadar y a las 7 cena. ¿A qué hora va? ¿A qué hora se acuesta? No lo dice. ¿va? Entonces por ahí pudiéramos nosotros preguntar, hey, what time does he, does he go? Does he go to bed? ¿A qué hora se va a la cama? Entonces ahí, pues podemos inventar más. Podemos crear más oración. Más preguntas. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros? ¿Necesitan que les comparte el enlace nuevamente? Please, teacher. Ok. Vale. ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a invertir en esto? 5, 10, 15. Ayer no nos alcanzaron los 20 minutos. Vamos a tratar de invertir 25. Ok, pero con esos 25 minutos, sí les voy a suplicar que tratemos de hacer esa conversación sin necesidad de leer. Ok, porque ya esta es la segunda semana. Ya prácticamente estamos cerrando segunda semana. Ya necesito que empecemos a producir inglés un poquito ya sin necesidad de estar leyendo. Ok, así que lo quiero. 100% concentrados en la actividad. Si ustedes se fijan, yo entro a las diferentes salas a escuchar, a ver si hay alguna pregunta, a ver cómo es que ustedes están estudiando, a ver si hay algún problema técnico. Por supuesto, algunas cosas yo no, no las puedo solucionar, pero este, por ahí puedo dar algún, alguna recomendación. Vaya, vale, entonces vamos a hacer, quiero ver, tenemos, vamos a hacer cinco, vamos a tener cinco parejas. Desde el momento que ingresen a las salas individuales, comiencen a trabajar efectivamente, con mucha precisión, con mucha práctica, 100% concentrados, y ya van a ver que la vamos a lograr. Ok, here we go. Teacher, eh, teacher puede compartir el, el enlace de nuevo, por favor. Ok, ok, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, it's all here. There you are. El, el audio, ¿a dónde lo escuchamos, Ticho? Eh, allí mismo, en, el, en ese mismo enlace está eh, Edwin. Correct. Thanks, thanks, Ticho. Okay, pretty good. Now we're ready. Ya estamos listos. Ready, go. But no se les escape el detalle del libro, porque también nos va a servir. Okay, here we go.
Jessica. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry to interrupt. Yeah. Edwin lo incluí en este grupo. Okay, porque vi que el otro participante no estaba conectado. Entonces, les, les voy a solicitar que trabajen en grupo de tres. Okay. Que incluyan a Edwin en el, en el ejercicio, ¿ok? Sí, está bien. Ok, thank you, thank you. Hola, Edwin. Hola. Hello. Hello, estoy teniendo problemas ahí con la conexión, pero igual, ya, ya estoy listo. Ya, yeah, sí. Eh, Edwin y Jessica también está en el grupo. Va. Vamos. Jennifer. Jennifer, <ríe> perdón, Jennifer. <ríe> ok, si gustan, este, generamos... Hola, Jessica. Hola, hello, hello, Jessica. Hola, teacher. Este, Creo que querés hola. Sí, pero fíjese que yo la incluí con Henry. No. Eh, no lo veo acá conectado conmigo. No lo ve. Sí, este, Henry sí está conectado, pero usted aparece como que todavía no ha aceptado la la invitación a unirse a él. Voy a ver, voy a ver si, si la puedo uh, conectar con él ahorita. Está bien. Now, yes. Okay, Henry, do me a favor to work with Jessica, please. Mm, yo hoy ya lo veo conectado. Okay. Hello, Henry. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, um, do me the favor to work with Jessica, please. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hola, hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Mm, bien. Este... Sí, sí, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Great job. And after I wake up say I am. Mm -hmm. right. A las siete, eh, que se, siete, de la, siete de la mañana, digamos, seven, seven o'clock a.m. Eh, eh, I cook break my break. Yo cocino mi, cocino mi, mi desayuno. 
Entonces la pregunta sería, do you, My... do, does he take a breakfast to... Sí, la, la, la pregunta sería, pero la vamos a practicar. Bueno. Do you ejemplo, have la, a break? Casi no lo escucho. Does he cook? Cook. Cook. Cook a breakfast. Ya le escucho. Se le pierde el audio. Don't listen. La señal. Hola, Elenilson. Hola. And after to take the breakfast. No problema de señal. Hola. And, hola. And after you go no. to, to the work. Lo siento, porque tengo otro señal. Pero... Hola. Lo siento, porque no te entendí nada, porque se escucha como cortado. Creo que es mi señal, porque me sacó de Zoom. Ah. Ok, no. listen, hola, hola. listen. Lo que, alguna, lo que algunos participantes eh, hacen cuando se da este tipo de situación es que, que se comunican a través de WhatsApp. A lo mejor y, y comunicándose, comunicándose así no, no, no hay problema. Mm. Hola, hola. Hola. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Sí, sí, ok. No sé, porque tengo problemas con el internet ahorita. Me había sacado de, del Zoom. Vaya, eh, quiero ver, como te decía, la primera sería, habíamos dicho que a las 6 de la mañana me levanto. A las 7 uh -huh. eh, hago mi... ¿A qué horas cena? Uh, I have dinner at seven o'clock. ¿Perdón? I have a dinner at seven o'clock. A las 7 a las 7 p.m. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Y a qué horas se acuesta? ¿O se duerme? I go, um, I go uh, to the bed and yeah, then a club, yeah, at the end, at the end, the media. 
Entonces diez. sería 10, 12, 12 p.m. O half. Uh -huh. 10. No, 12 p.m. 10, a las 10 p.m. Uh -huh. O a las 10 y media. Mm, cualquiera de las dos puede ser. 10 le voy a poner. Va, creo que hasta ahí sería. Sí. Va. Vale, hoy sería con esperanza. Sí. Yes. Ok. Ah, yo le preguntaría, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. Eh... Edwin, get up. Eh, eh. Hour. I get up at uh, four, forty, uh, forty-five a.m. I get up. Permita, porque se me ha trabado esta cosa. Ay, tiche. Ya lo... <laughs> In front of the stress Hello, Henry. Uh, hello, Jessica. Hello, Titia. Okay, is everything all right? Is that all right? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok, ok. Teacher. Tell me, Henry. Eh, por ejemplo, en este ejercicio pudiéramos como ser bien prácticos. Ejemplo, que yo le diga, hola Jessica, ¿cómo estás? ¿Me puedes compartir parte de tus actividades diarias? Y ya luego le hago la pregunta, ¿qué haces el día lunes? Ya, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It okay. may be like that. That's right. Okay. No se, no se olviden ir, ir completando el, el cuadro que les dije. Ah, la misma vez. Yeah. Ándale, cierto. <ríe> ah. Ponemos el, el nombre de de, en este caso, digamos, yo pongo el nombre de Jessica y pongo las actividades que ella hace. Exactly. Y, y mi nombre y las actividades. Exactly. Ok. Ah. Ay, ¿cómo se lo voy a compartir? Quiero ver. 
Solo tendría que darle copiar, pegar. Ajá. Yo no quiero que me pase lo mismo que le pasó a usted. Ya está. Eh, vamos a ver. Pegar. Ahí está. Dice, anoche no pude bueno. conectarme. Ahí se lo mandé, gente. Yo así lo hice en su... Así, pequeñito. Ya fue el teacher. Ah, no, ahí está. No, I'm, I'm listening to you. Teacher, sí, verdad, sí, eh, verdad. Perdón. Ajá. Dale, yes. eh, pregunta, no es necesario hacer todo lo que hacemos un solo mismo día, ¿verdad? No. Solo algo en especial, ¿verdad? Yeah, it may be like that, right? Ahí se lo mandé, Henry. Ok, Henry, me imagino tuvo problemas ayer, ¿verdad? Para conectarse. Sí, es que vine noche y no me sentía nada bien. Solo tenía media hora. Si me conectaba, solo tenía media hora. Entonces, como no me sentía bien, dije yo, no, mejor. Que no sé qué me había afectado, pero venía hasta con asco de tantas sí. cosas. Sí, es la rutina del trabajo, etcétera. Sí. Sí, la okay. verdad. Ok, Henry. Ok, let us try to get concentrated, please. Ya casi okay. terminamos. Ok. Y le pregunté, ¿está cerca de su casa el trabajo? ¿Is work is close? 45 minutes. What time, what time is your lunch break? Uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, what does do you at work? Packing and, and sauce and cheese. How many are done? Their work is uh, for people. Uh, do you deport the time uh, for? 12 p.m. What time dinner? A 7 p.m. I want to do, I want time to you sleep? 10 p.m. Is correct? Jennifer? Sí, sí está bien, Edwin. Ok, eh, su rutina yo no la pude anotar porque tuve problemas de conexión. Ah, ok. Eh, bueno, ahí este, como me, me preguntó Esperanza, ahí lo puede sí. compartir con usted. Ah, pero yo tendría que decirle a... No, ahí Jenny... A eh, ella, Jennifer, sí, sí. Jennifer, Jennifer a mí. Que decir la suya, sí. correcto. Ajá. Entonces, yo voy a decir la de Esperanza. Correcto. Ok, ah, pues sí. Bye. Lo que, lo que podemos hacer después, si gusta, en un, en un cuadro de Word, eh, podemos hacer las conversaciones y las podemos compartir. La que yo sí. le hice a, a Jennifer, eh, la que Jennifer le va a hacer a usted. Eh, Esperanza y Esperanza la que me hizo a mí. Ahí la podemos compartir. Sí. Uh, va, Esperanza. ¿A qué horas te levantas? Uh, get up at four. Uh... Uh, four fifteen a.m. Uh, a las cuatro. Cuatro y quince. Ah, en Cuatro y quince, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Y le queda... ¿Cuál es su hobby favorito? 
bueno, después de, de levantarla, este, eh, 13 Minutes Meditation en Yoga. Hace yoga. ¿A qué hora me dijo? Eh, 30 minutos. ¿sabes? Ok. Yoga, ¿verdad? Sí. O oh, exercise 13 minutes también. Cualquiera de las dos cosas, o hago ejercicio normal. ¿Y cua, eh, a qué hora es su hora de merienda? Eh, 5.45, preparo mi desayuno. Eh. Ahí, a shower. Six. Cinco cuarenta y cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Y usted trabaja. Sí. ¿En qué trabaja? Eh, soy eh, gerente de, de cuentas claves de Canal Moderno. Gerente. Sí, es como key, key, key account manager. Mother Canal. La K, okay. la A y la M. Cam. Uh -huh. Cam. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Y a qué horas entra su trabajo? Eh, hey. take my breakfast me dijo que a las ocho verdad a las ocho sí ¿A qué hora sale de su trabajo? A la eh, FAI. PM. A cinco, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Yo digo que así está bien. Está bien, no sé. Va a ser a las seis y media, seis treinta pm. Seis treinta. Y me acuesto a dormir entre las diez y media y las once. Diez y treinta a once. Uh -huh. Creo que sí, solo eso, Esperanza, no sé. Está bien.
Aí. Okay, hello everyone. Now I I I, I can see. Let's see. I only have six people, and I don't know. Maybe maybe when I create the, the groups, I don't know. But people tend to have problems with it. Well, I have um. Ellen Nilsson, Edwin, Carla, Henry, Esperanza. Uh, Jessica, and I don't know, it says Samsung SM. Who is that person? Jennifer. Uh, that's Jennifer. Uh, okay. Jennifer. <laughs> uh, okay, Jennifer. Well, uh, we're going to start. We're going to try to, to finish with this activity. We're missing like 20 minutes. I think we still have time, right? So to, to, to start with um, the conversations. I don't know. Edwin, are you ready? I'm ready, teacher. Okay. Uh, do me the favor to perform the conversations. I think you are going to perform two conversations, right? Okay, teacher. Okay. This is from Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. What did you do? Very good. Um, Alice, five. I had up I five twenty a.m. No, no, no. Hello, this what your job. Hello. What is your job? Existing the production. Okay. What I do do you get up? I have I got up five twenty a.m. This war is closed. Um, a quarant cinco minutes. What time? What time is your lunch break? Uh, do 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 well, 11. 11. What time do you at work? Um, impact the chase and deal. How many are, are doing? Um, Four person, four people. Uh, you finish the the time the work. Um. Well, forty twenty. What time dinner? Uh huh. Um. Ten. And what what time do you sleep? Um, alas, same. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, that is, the, is that the only conversation you prepared, Edwin? I think you work with, uh, only with, with Jennifer. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna listen to Carla. Well, my is Ella Nilsson. And so Ellen Nilsson had problems, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's listen then to Henry. Uh, 
Ok, teacher. Con Jessica. Oh. Vamos a... Uh, <ríe> vamos a tratar ahí de hacer la conversación. Lo hicimos diferente porque nada más... Uh, una pregunta para que ella comente sus actividades diarias de lunes a viernes. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Jessica. Jessica. Ah, pues no, teacher. Okay, che. Hello, Jessica. Are you there? No, Jessica's not there. No, I think hola, Lee... Hola. Oh, now yes, right. Es que hey. siempre apago el micrófono. Aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Ok, Henry y Jessica. Ok, Jessica, uh -huh. vamos a intentar entonces hacer la conversación. Uh. Aquí estoy. Okay. Aquí estoy, solo que ahorita tengo un poquito mala la señal. Pero... Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hoy sí. Ok. Bye. Hi, <laughs> Jessica. How are you? I am fine. Um... Bye, ya le contesté que lo que me acaba de preguntar, ver cómo estoy. Ya, ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Bye, ok. Voy a preguntarle las actividades diarias, uh -huh, uh -huh, de lunes uh -huh. a, a viernes. Haremos el intento, pues. Bye. Sí. Can, can you share part of your activity with me? Um, What do you do on Monday to Friday? Vamos a ver. Y in 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 head who uh at C C P um he go to to work um oh como dice en inglés six 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 Ajá, uh -huh, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Tú andas y go to to shore. Wednesday, Wednesday, ¿cómo es? Wednesday. 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 Wednesday and and company. Um. Company, we, como se dice, Mary, 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 tú es da, Mary, tú es y go to, she, no, to, go to, go to, tú, tú es da, go to, Day supermarket for for the day go to day park with my son to to day no Saturday study I Ay, no está ahí hablando. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No. Okay, thank you Jessica, thank you um Henry. Okay, um well, um it, it will 
it will be really nice, okay, if you continue practicing, okay, the conversation during the day tomorrow, right? This is for everybody. Esto es para todos, ¿verdad? Eh, si pueden uh, estudiar cualquier conversación relacionada a los temas que hemos estado estudiando, háganlo. Eso es muy, muy bueno. Si no tienen con quién practicar, ok, háganlo ustedes solitos, ok, eh, repitiendo, aprendiendo vocabulario, eh, tratando de producir eh, oraciones completas de la manera que se escuche en un determinado audio. Eso les va a servir mucho. Eso les va a servir mucho a todos, ok. Es como eh, desarrollar el, eh, la destreza de, del escuchar en inglés. Okay? Escuchar, leer. Escuchar, leer y, y, y hablar, ¿verdad? Ahorita necesitamos llenarnos de vocabulario, de expresiones y tratar de ir como eh, quitándonos ese, ese nerviosismo que nos puede estar bloqueando nuestras eh, buenas, eh, nuestras buenas eh, prácticas, nuestras buenas eh, oraciones, frases en inglés. Ok, now. Me, well, I check the list of tiendas. Do me the favor to go to the, to the platform. Mientras paso asistencia, hágame el favor de irse a la plataforma y verificar que las actividades estén completadas. Quiero ver si ella... Exercise 7, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the teacher? Just give me one second. I'm just checking. Uh, number. It's number nine. La nueve sería. Sí. Ok, sí. Uh -huh. Number nine. Okay, es, está cortito, pero igual me, nos ayuda a optimizar tiempo. Eh, Carlos Josué. Denise. Edwin is over here. What's that, teacher? Okay. Ellie Nilsson is over here. Esperanza is over here. Um, Evelyn, she's not here, right? Fatima Michel. <laughs> Gabriela Jasmín. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Uh, Henry C. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present One. teacher. Ah, uh, Jennifer is here. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Eh, Juan Carlos. Es Juan Carlos, no le sé. Julio César. Hay oso, so Julio César en the class. Carla María. Aquí presente. Ok, Carla. Ladies. Present teacher. Luis José. Hey, Luis José. Luis José was at the beginning of the class. Obed. Wendy Carolina. William Maristines. Jennifer Madali. Jennifer 
Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay. Well, actually, tomorrow we're going to start working with, you know, we're going to continue working with simple present. But in this case, uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about double H question words. Okay. Necesito que se memoricen las double H question words. ¿Cómo se pronuncian? Eh, las investigan, por favor, e investigan el siguiente tema. Double H questions with simple present. Okay, so that this is this topic is for tomorrow. Okay, necesito que se se memoricen las double H question words y que investiguen el presente simple con preguntas abiertas. Eh, para eso, el día de mañana vamos a trabajar con esta conversación. Ok, necesito que la estudien y que investiguen acerca de, pre, de palabras. Por ejemplo, los días de la semana he es, estado escuchando que hay que seguirlo practicando. Ok, and, oh, well, I, I was thinking about something else. Okay, this is the activity number nine, right? Eh, con, el, con el midterm, con la evaluación de esta semana, espero que ya la hayan terminado. Okay, okay, activity number nine, instructions. Look at the pictures and choose the activity they are doing. <clears throat> For example. He wakes up. He wakes up. Yes. So then this is this is the one. He wakes up. In yes. the second one. Take a shower. He takes he a shower. Take a shower. He takes you say he takes a shower. Number three. He brush his teeth. Okay, he brushes his teeth. Brushes his teeth. Number four. Chops. Ah, he shaves. Shaves. I'm sorry, is it no, pressure? This, number this, yeah, four. Yeah, number, number four. He shaves. And that's it, right? This exercise is very simple. Okay, now we got a 10, right? In the first one, he wakes up. In the second one, he takes a shower. Take shower. In the third one, he brushes brush his teeth. Shave. Number four, he shaves. Shoes. All right, so, so we are done with it. Miren, sencilla la actividad. Uh, let me see. Tomorrow we're going to talk about daily routines. We will continue with it. And, and also the midterm. Eh, mañana vamos a practicar las actividades del midterm. Ok, son cuatro partes y las vamos a resolver acá. Ok. Uh, do you have any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algún comentario? Solamente preguntas en el presente simple. Sería la tarea. Yes. Um, 
Pero, y aprenderse las double H question words, aprenderse las, las palabras que introducen preguntas abiertas. Mm -hmm. Ya vimos cómo hacer preguntas cerradas, ¿verdad? Hey, da, mm -hmm. does, he, does he go to bed uh, at nine? ¿Se va a dormir a las nueve? Sí o no, ¿verdad? Eh, does he take a shower at seven? Mm -hmm. ¿Toma su baño a las siete? Las respuestas podría ser sí o no. O sea, eso ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ya mañana vamos con preguntas abiertas. Por ejemplo, what time do you get up? ¿A qué horas te despiertas? ¿A qué horas te levantas? Ah, yo me levanto mm -hmm. a las siete. Um, what for? ¿Para qué? Ah, bueno, tomo un baño, me alisto para ir al trabajo, etc. O sea, son preguntas abiertas que nos invitan a... a a hacer nuestras pláticas más amenas y, y con mucha más información, por supuesto. Ok, so okay, that, okay. that's for tomorrow. Ok, teacher. Okay. Thank you. So I think we're going to stop by here. Let us see tomorrow, people. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye, Good night. Henry. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.